Hi, this is a quick video walkthrough for the first question of your homework number two, part two. I have already made a video uh, that is about 15 minutes long that shows all the detailed steps to complete number one, two, and three. But it's just because for Mac users, uh, question number one um, is a little different. Um, so if you feel like you need extra help, even after you uh, read through the instruction that's indicated here, uh, this video may provide some additional help, okay? But again, at some point, you will need to feel comfortable about reading those short instructions and then figure out how to implement that on your end. Um, but since this is still in the early phase of our study, I think you may you may be benefited by this particular video. All right, so uh, first thing is you need to download this file. Uh, if you click this, this will take you to the D2L. So you need to download this PowerPoint file. Um, I think this is recommending you to download the file to the desktop, right? I think, yeah, save it to the desktop for the convenience of running command. Um, so in my case, I did exactly that. Uh, the file is currently stored or saved on my desktop. For next step, you actually need to open the terminal, like the one you see here in this particular uh, screenshots. Um, uh, go to this section of your MacBook if you know how to do that. I just swiped my four fingers and I, I forgot what's the name of this section. Maybe this is called Launchpad. I may be wrong. Uh, I'm not sure. So do it again. Uh, you search T, right? Search terminal, and this is the uh, tool that you're going to be using to generate the hash value. So uh, this is the uh, interface of your terminal is look like. If you double click it, it will become really big. And double click again, it will shrink back to the original size. You can also try to resize it like this. So the first thing you want to do is type ls. Okay, type ls and enter to see what what type of folders are available in this particular location. So currently you are on a root folder, meaning you are in the highest uh, level of folders that has all these subfolders beneath it. And then as you can see, as you as you may remember, I stored or I saved my file on desktop. Uh, if you have saved the file on a download folder, which is totally fine, uh, just be careful you're not you're not just repeating exactly the way I'm typing. Okay, you should think about your specific context. So in my case, I saved the file on desktop. I would do CD desktop. All right. Make sure uh, you make sure make sure that um, D is capitalized in this case. Uh, this is a uh, case sensitive. So your file name or your director name should be exactly the same with the ones you are seeing uh, here. All right, so CD basically means change directory to a desktop. So that's what it means. And enter, let's do it again uh, so that we can confirm, we can visually confirm or visually verify that this file is here. And then you move on to the instructions to see the specific command here. So the specific command to generate hash value is SHASUM space slash a I'm sorry the dash a space 256 and then uh, replace the file name with the actual file name you would like to create hash value from so SHA sum a256 and then for the file name I'm just gonna copy and paste it I suspect that this will cause an error because I see a lot of empty spaces in your file name. So in general, the command line does not does not like that. I'm just going to run the experiment for now. OK, uh, this is uh, this is as expected. So I'm going to control C to abort the mission. I'm going to do control C to abort the mission, which I did already. And let's use the upward arrow key, upward arrow key to uh, call our previous command. OK, and then I can do a little fix here. You can either eliminate all the empty spaces in your file name or this is another way to fix it. You would put a double quotation mark around your file name. All right. And then we click enter. We got the 
hash value in here. All right. So um, uh, each unique file will only generate um, a hash value that is also unique. So it means if if all our class students that ha they have created hash value using this same file, all their hash values should be the same. So if you're not confident about whether you have generated a correct hash value or not, you may want to ask around to see whether they have obtained exactly the same hash value. Okay, so that concludes uh, the this concludes the uh, walkthrough.